Hi, this is Resilient Ken Lau. Now I have a Power Query uh, online course and I talk about how to get a uh, create parameter given date and also about get last seven days uh, and these can be very helpful to us. Uh, just yesterday, right, I um, uh, I did a consultation, right, with a person called Miss Choi, right. Now, how she struggled is that uh, she has a she has a data that he need to extract from the system and the uh, current method is kicking her a lot of time and how much does she she described in such a way that uh, um, the current time she spent is at the moment she spent out she she took about two days right how how is that is that the, the moment she wake up she open her eyes she start immediately do the data extraction right uh, from the system and until 11 then she do some short starts and then return to do the data structure for over 150 hours. It's no longer why she take a lot of time. And then it take a very short break and continue do it uh, after a short bath, right? And then a uh, short bath, right? And then it continue until 3 a.m. Yes, it's 3 a.m. From 11 a.m. in the morning until midnight, 3 a.m. That is the first day. And then she can't tahan already. That means she cannot take take the very very sleepy so she slept right and then the next morning she immediately wake up at 8 o'clock and then continue to do the data extractions until 2 to 3 p.m. finally finally 150 hours is uh, gets all the data extracted right uh, and then double check and finish a report at 2, 5 p.m. and that is how she spent her two days every month right since February 2021 and uh, this is going to change right because uh, uh, her company engaged me and then uh, and then she told me about uh, this situation and uh, at the moment she's using the pure table some if uh, she know about this and power query wise she know how to use combine server files within a folder uh, and then uh, she basically learned from YouTube and uh, don't have any basic of uh, proper step-by-step -step power query tra uh, training um, so it's very very time consuming yeah so uh, so now let's look at uh, what is she trying to do right it's basically that uh, she has a list of data and uh, she need to extract the data according to a list right? according to the to a given date range so uh, the date range for each outlet will be very different but now i want to explore is that how you can extract that data right so this video will require you to have the understanding uh, of Excel intimate skill right, such as selecting date range and the power query level 1 selecting rows load query power to uh, level 2 you need to know how to create a custom color right so you get used to it then you move on to this level a uh, level 3 right so now let's look at that right now uh, of course right uh, you can still jump all the way to level 3 you'll find more difficult uh, let's do this uh, yes right you also need to know how to use Excel table yeah so so turn this into Excel table right and it will can become a table uh, wait uh, let me just undo first right control T uncheck this my table right and you have this list now we go to uh, this one I give it a name call uh, uh, selections right table for selections and I go to data uh, and then go from table and range so uh, we have this list and I choose only the given date and here I go for date and then the, that's about it right click choose drill down okay right click drill down and yeah this is the one right I can just change it oh yeah I should change it to given date okay given date 
So yes, that's the one, right? And then I click on Home, Close and Load, Close and Load to go for only create connections. Click OK, and we done this. Now go to Data. Uh, we create a blank query. So next is that uh, we want to create a query list, right? So okay, so great. So let's start with a date list. Ah, remember to hash a hash, right? And then twenty one, start from one. Then uh, this is just the beginning of the year, right? And then you press enter, and that's become the source step. And I click on this add step button, and I uh, key in the date dot list right and I forgot what is the list right uh, so no problem right I have a notes here uh, this is done then stay okay ah yes that's the one I'm looking for this list dot dates okay list dot dates so let's come back to here right list dot list dot dates the list dot dates duration okay list dot dates duration right so list dot dates source okay so there's a three input here so I'm gonna count 365 days and then the every row difference will be about instrument by one day so I use the duration one day zero to, uh, zero minute zero hours or zero hour zero minute zero seconds and or close brackets and enter and that's it this is a list and I go to click on this to home Oh, before that, uh, yeah, just click to table, right? Right on the top here, to table. And uh, just click OK, right? We don't have any uh, issue to, on uh, if there's an extra column and so on, right? So this is OK. And double click on this, change it to transactions date. OK, so uh, click on this, change it to date time. So, all right, so next one is that, uh, this one is to get a query of last uh, last three day okay last three day and um, we're done with this now we go to add column click custom column and uh, now we're gonna start with uh, this date check is it equals to a certain date let's just start with uh, one uh, 220, 21, 10, uh, uh, January 10th, right, and then enter, OK. Just click OK also. Uh, I mean, just you need to click OK right here. So uh, on the 10, right, see there's a true here. This is what it means right now. I'm going to double click again. And this time I want to add uh, some dates, add days. So I want to know the uh, three days before this date, right? How to do that, right? I use the dash negative three to represent uh, the three days ago. What is this date from this uh, 10th of January? Three days ago, what is that date? Oh, it cannot be, right? Let's double click here. Uh, date, we have this. Where transition? Ah, we missed a uh, correct parenthesis. Is it the true? Dates dot add transaction dates equal to this date. Uh, no, I think it's correct. Dates dot add right. So that's why it's become very handy, right? With my notes here, right? All right. Let's see. Uh, dates. Ha. Yes, we need to check whether it's equal to the dates dot add. Yeah. These are all correct, but we need to check whether the date is actually. So we need to double click on this one. Is it equals to three days ago, right? Which date is equal to three days ago from the from this ten of one, right? So let's just click OK. Does it work? Hmm. No. Let's see. Twenty six hundred. Is it equal to? Okay, okay, it's not this date, right? Uh, we're gonna use the transaction date and uh, we remove this date here and click OK. 
and uh, we have this there. See the 10 three days ago is seven, right? So that's great. So well, we done with this today. And now I want to extract is that uh, from 10 until the, from seven until 10, right? How to do that, right? So I'm going to double click on this. And uh, the way to do that is that change this equal to greater or equals to date. And then here we change the and enter, uh, wait, enter, okay. And then the, the date here, it should be greater than the three days ago and then lesser or equals to uh, this given date, right? Which is 2021, 10, 10 of days, right? All right, let's take look. Okay. Now we can see that the 7 to 10 is now set as true. See that now? If I go here, select selections, click true, right? And this is the three days given, right? And that is exactly what we want to do, right? So you see, we have this date and then this done, right? Oh, basically it's done. Yeah, so this is a list. You can change it. And uh, the best thing is that if since we have created a query here, right? So now we can change this back to double click on this added custom and then remove this part right into qry given date and this one also i want it to dynamic so i go for query given date and click ok and that's it right and uh, i click close it load close it load to right uh, basically it's the same right it's right here and so this is set as this right now if I just move this date to say 15 okay just uh, so okay so three days ago I right, will be 11 to 15 right now let's just look here right click refresh and uh, you can see that this is the four day right 12 and 15 right exactly 12 until 15 right that is three days ago right if you include two days right three days ago 12 and uh, this will help you to get that done easily right so now you can basically uh what back to what uh, miss Choi question uh, that that keep her to uh the waking up and then so on right so she can use this method uh and change a little bit more and uh, able to do this uh, no longer today but just at the at the, just right click and refresh that's i think that's about it right maybe change the given date uh, some durations and uh, yeah good to go right so modify a little bit miss joy uh, can go can work uh, eight hours productivity and then uh, the rest uh, work on her health and the family right and that is a balanced life uh, yeah I wish that this video is uh, helpful to some of the uh, my uh, students here right if you wish to learn more right to enroll my power query class uh, where you have more right so now uh, if I wasn't know about this tool I cannot in a way to create a solution for Miss Choi and there's no shortcuts right you need to take the time to watch all this video right one at a time day and you can uh, solve your problem right instead of two days and uh, non-stop close to non-stop from 11 a.m. to 3 a.m. now you can do it with just right click uh, instead of two uh, close to two days now you can do it in less than five minutes right and you need to invest your time to learn properly all right say thank you very much and hope this is very helpful to you God bless you. God bless Asia.